guys, what is going on? My name is Weefies and welcome back. We've been doing a lot of weird things with Minecraft mobs lately, so it seems kind of obvious to me that this would be next on the list. Uh, today, we are going to see which Minecraft mob has the best grammar. <laughs> this is getting really stupid. It's gonna get stupider, don't worry, I have plans. So today, we are going to put a few Minecraft mobs, and by a few, I mean kind of a lot, a lot of Minecraft mobs into a test to see how their grammar is. I looked up first grade grammar test, I found a PDF, I got some questions, we're gonna see which Minecraft mob can write the best English essay slash has the best grammar. Uh, the first question is very simple, which of the following is a vowel? We have A, F, and B. And of course the answer is A. So, we're going to see which of the Minecraft mobs knows this, and we're going to progress to, you know, a bit harder questions, but it's not going to be anything too hard. I'm sure all of you guys know the answers to these questions. It's not going to be anything crazy. So, I have some cool technology here that the mobs don't move until I hit open. So, I think that's pretty cool. And let's grab all the mobs. And if you guys do enjoy, consider leaving a like and subscribing. It would be really awesome of you. But starting us off, it's going to be the witch. Mr. Witch. Uh, this is the grammar test. It's very simple. Which of the following is a vowel? Choose the correct answer. Oh, sorry. See, he can't move by himself. It's kind of funny. And begin. He will just now choose which cell he wants to wander into. And he has five seconds to pick. Uh, I'm not here. No pressure. N -n -n nothing. Nothing to worry about. He picked B. And you know what that means. You have five seconds. Five, four, three. Oh, oh, oh. He goes to F. Five, four, three, two, one. One, and I'm sorry, buddy, but that was the wrong answer. So moving on to the panda. Mr. Panda. Let me close it first so you can't move. Mr. Panda, you're often subject we're subjecting you to a grammar test. Which of the following letters is a vowel? Step into the letter cell that is a vowel. Begin. You have five seconds to confirm your answer, or it will not be counted. Aww. Oh, you're just so cute. Oh, you're so adorable. You're so playful. I feel so bad killing you if you do land up wrong. But you gotta pick, buddy. You got, you really gotta pick, okay? Stop playing. Okay, stop playing. It's not funny anymore. Just pick a cell. You gotta pick a cell. You have to pick now or else it'll never amount to anything in your life. Just pick. Uh, Silverfish, this is a test of your grammar. You must choose which of the following cells contains a vowel. Best of luck to you. And I have the harming, just in case you don't want to comply. Going right for the F. You have five... Oh, okay, okay. These sil silverfish never make up their minds. Five. I'll, I'll fly so you have time to pick. Ooh, five, four, three, two, one... Congratulations! You got the first question correct. Very well done, Mr. Silverfish. Next up is the zombie, which should not burn. Actually, maybe he probably should burn, so I'm going to change it. Uh, the llama. Mr. Llama, this is a test of grammar. You must choose the cell that contains a vowel. Begin. He crawls towards the option of B. Is that correct? You have five, four, three seconds to change your mind. Two, one, and that was not correct, Mr. Llama. I'm sorry, but that was wrong. Next up, we have the Mushroom. Mr. Mushroom, this is the test of your grammar. Like all the others before you, you must choose which cell contains a vowel. Yes, look around. These are the cells. Very good. Best of luck to you. Going for the F. Okay, I see. You have five seconds to change your mind. Four seconds. Three seconds. Two seconds, one second, he nodded, he thought he was correct, but he wasn't. I'm sorry, Mr. Mushroom, but that was just wrong. Mr. Pig, you have... You can't move now. You have to pick the answer or the cell that contains a vowel. Best of luck to you. This is a test of your grammar skills. He goes for the F. You have five seconds to change your mind. Five, four, three... Two, one. 
big rip, but the pig has failed. Moving on, we have the skeletal horse. Mr. Skeletal Horse, this is a test of your grammar. You must choose which of the following cells contains a vowel. Best of luck. If you don't choose in a minute, you will be killed. He wanders towards the F. Why are so many people thinking F is a vowel? Oh, he's happy. He's happy with his choice. You have five seconds to confirm. Five, four, three, two. He's like, I know this, but you don't, buddy. I'm sorry. You are just, that is the wrong. I can't press the button. That is the, he's covering the button. That is the wrong. I'm going to die too from this. Wait, let me set my spawn point. That's the wrong answer. Move. <laughs> That's a big rip. Next up is the wolf. Mr. Wolf, you have a test of grammar before you now. Choose the cell which contains a vowel. Best of luck. You have five seconds to confirm slash deny your answer. The F again. Five, four, three, two, one. I'm sorry, but that was the wrong answer, and you have failed the test. Next up is the villager. Villagers, I believe, should be the most literate in all of the game. Oh, nope. Oh, well, now you can... I, I don't even... I guess I can just kill your... Yeah, I, I'm sorry. I'm going to kill a... I'm so sorry, but... No, my... Uh, uh, no! No! Mr. Villager, I know I just killed your child. But regardless, this is a test of grammar. Choose the option that has a vowel. Best of luck to you. you can, you're not free to move around. He goes for the B. Oh, no, he changed his mind. He changed his mind. I'm sorry. I didn't see I went to the B. I was looking at my phone. Sorry. I'm sorry. Pick your answer. I'll watch. Ooh, he goes for the F. You have five seconds. Oh, no. No, he switches. Goes for the... Doesn't want to go for the A. You want to go for the A? You want to go for the A? Or not? Okay. Goes for the A, a B. That's a five, four, three, two, one... Mr. Villager, I thought you had that one, but that was not the correct answer at all. Next up is the cat. Mr. Cat, this is a test of your grammar. You have to figure out which letter, which cell here contains a vowel. Best of luck to you. Begin. Straight for the A. Five, four, three, two, one. Correct answer. Congratulations, the silverfish is grooving because he has a friend. Yes, jo nice job, cat. You passed. Next up, I'm going to save the burning mobs for last. Uh, next up is the fox. Uh, Got to close it. Mr. Fox, you have to choose which of the following letters is a vowel. Best of luck to you. Right for the B. Interesting. Five, four, three, two. Change his mind. Change his mind to the F. Five. Four, changes mind, goes back to the B, back to the F. Five, four, three, two, one. I'm so sorry, but that was the wrong answer. He's paralyzed. He's dead now. I'm sorry, Mr. Fox. Next up, we all know who it is. It's the famous one, the Evoker. Mr. Evoker, this is a test of your grammar. He looks like a priest or a teacher. Uh, you have to choose which of the following cells contains a vowel. Best of luck to you. Oh, he's a genius. Five, four, three, two, one. No hesitation. The evoker seems to have very good grammar as he just watches and ponders the silverfish. Very good job. Interesting things with the cat, but very good job nonetheless. Next up is going to be the spider. Mr. Spider, this is a test of your grammar. You must choose which of the following cells contains a vowel. Good luck. He nodded. He gets the task. Let's see if he's smart enough to solve the riddle, though. Which of these letters is a vowel? Oh, he goes for the A! Five, four, three, two, one. Dancing around, spiders are surprisingly smart and... Uh, Okay, maybe they're not that smart. I don't have, I don't have barriers below, but I do have barriers up here, so. Oh, there was a, 
There was a... No, there wasn't. There was nothing. There's nothing you could have went on. Mr. Cow, this is a test of your grammar. Choose the cell that contains a vowel. Go. No, that's a sign. Oh, he's a genius. He goes for the sign. Ha 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 Very funny. <gasps> for the A, you have five seconds to change your mind. Five, four, three, two, one. What a god. We now have, I believe, five finishers. Yeah, five finishers already. That is really cool. Congrats to you guys. Next up is the slime. What's well, a very big boy. I am concerned. Oh, I forgot to lock it. I guess you're just going to have to. Yeah, bye. Uh, next up is the slime. Oh, thank God. This is the test of your grammar. You must choose the cell that contains a vowel. Oh, my restrictions don't stop him because he can jump. Well, that's interesting. You're free to go. For the A? For the A? Five, four, three, two, one. Congratulations, Mr. Slime. Nothing should be killing each other up here. But Mr. Slime, that is the correct answer. Uh, the <laughs> evokers just want pondering him. Very nice job. And now onto the final two. We're going to go time set night for these guys. Uh, we have the Stray, I believe. That is his name. Congra con uh, and begin. This is a test of your grammar. Choose the vowel. Okay, that's a test. And if you can't read, just choose the vowel. Yes, the vowel. He's looking around at all the options. What will he pick? He goes for the A. Five, four, three. Oh, he changes his mind to the F. Five, four, three, two, one. I'm sorry, Mr. Stray, but that was the wrong answer. And finally, the zombie. Mr. Zombie, this is a test of your grammar. I think these guys are pretty brain dead, if you know what I mean. But maybe he'll get it right. Choose the vowel. Go. You have five seconds to deny your answer. That slime is just going off into the sunset. What a cutie. He goes for the F. Five, four, three, two, one. I'm sorry for the nod, but that was wrong. You were wrong. And that concludes round one of the grammar testing. These six mobs, cow, spider, slime, evoker, cat, and silverfish, were the only ones who passed the grammar test. We're going to have a part two with these mobs. Stay tuned for next Thursday. I'll see you all then. In the meantime, thank you so much for watching this video. If you have enjoyed, then be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Consider checking out my other Minecraft mob videos. And yeah, peace out. See you later.